ZTE Corporation is a Chinese multinational telecommunications equipment and systems company headquartered in Shenzhen, China. ZTE's core products are wireless, exchange, access, optical transmission, and data telecommunications gear, mobile phones, and telecommunications software. It also offers products that provide value-added services, such as video on demand and streaming media. ZTE primarily sells products under its own name but it is also an OEM. ZTE is one of the top five largest smartphone manufacturers in its home market, and in the top ten, worldwide. History, ZTE, initially founded as Xing Semiconductor Company, Limited in Shenzhen, China, in 1985, was incorporated by a group of investors associated with China's Ministry of Aerospace. In March 1993, Zhengxing Semiconductor has changed its name to Zhengxing New Telecommunications Equipment Company, Limited with capital of RMB 3 million, and created a new business model as a state-owned and private operating economic entity. Ties to the state notwithstanding, the corporation has evolved into ZTE Corporation of being publicly traded having made an initial public offering on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange in 1997 and another on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange in December, 2004. While the company initially profited from domestic sales, it vowed to use money from its 2004 Hong Kong IPO to further expand R&D, overseas sales to developed nations, and overseas production. Making headway in the international telecom markets in 2006, it took 40% of new global orders for CDMA networks topping the world CDMA equipment market by number of shipments. That same year also saw ZTE find a customer in the Canadian TELUS and membership in the Wi-Fi Alliance. More customers in developed nations soon followed TELUS-led, and in 2007 ZTE had sold to UK's Vodafone, Spain's Telefonica and the Australian Telstra, as well as garnering the greatest number of CDMA contracts globally. By 2008 ZTE could claim its customer base was truly global, as it had made sales in 140 countries. In 2009, the company had become the worldwide third-largest vendor of GSM telecom equipment, and about 20% of all GSM gear sold throughout the world that year was ZTE branded. As of 2011 it holds around 7% of the key 3 GPP long-term evolution patents and that same year launched the world's first smartphone with dual GPS GLONASS navigation, MTS 945. ZTE claims to devote 10% of its annual revenue on research and development each year, and it could be producing patents and utility licenses at a furious pace. ZTE has filed 48,000 patents globally and with more than 13,000 patents granted. 90% more patents are invention-related. In two consecutive years, ZTE has been granted the largest number of patent applications globally, which is the first for a Chinese company. Subsidiaries ZTE has several international subsidiaries. ZTE Proprietary Limited, ZTE entered the Australian market in 2005, and as of 2009 ZTE Proprietary Limited acts as the exclusive supplier of ZTE handsets, network cards, and other products to customers, such as Telstra, in Australia. ZTE Deutschland GmbH ZTE Deutschland GmbH was founded in 2005 with headquarters in Darwin Quarter Seldorf. It, as of 2008, had hired 50 people, 60% of whom were recruited locally. ZTE USA Inc. A North American subsidiary of ZTE, with headquarters in Richardson, Texas, ZTE USA Inc. offers wireless handset and networking solutions in the U.S. ZTE USA partners with NBA's Houston Rockets for the season of 2013-2014, ZTE Limited, ZTE Limited serves in such areas as global contract manufacturing. ZTE Du Brasil LTDA ZTE Du Brasil LTDA was founded in 2002 with headquarters in Sao Paulo Paulo and offices in Rio de Janeiro and Brasilia. Providing mobile devices and network solutions for the Brazilian market. ZTE Pakistan Private LTD, 
ZTE was introduced in the Pakistani market in 1999 with its headquarters in Islamabad and major offices in Lahore and Karachi. Providing telecom equipment, network solutions and managed services to telecom operators in Pakistan that is PTCL, Telenor, Zong, products. Products can be roughly arranged into three categories, equipment used by network operators, equipment used to access networks, and services, which includes software. On October 2010, ZTE's Unified Encryption Module received US-Canada FIPS 140-2 Security Certification, which made ZTE the first vendor from PIA China to successfully validate modules according to the NIST FIPS 140-2 standard under the CMVP program. Consumer Electronics, Mobile Phones as of 2012, ZTE is the fourth largest mobile phone vendor. It also placed within IDC's top five smartphone vendor leaderboard. Strategy Analytics counts ZTE as fourth largest smartphone vendor in 2Q 2013. It also manufactures tablets, mobile hotspots. The MF60 and MF84G mobile hotspots were announced in August 2011. Windows Phone. At Mobile World Congress 2014 in Spain, Microsoft announced that ZTE is the latest hardware partner of Windows Phone platform. Network Operators Equipment, Network Nodes and Network Elements, ZTE is also a provider of core routing and core network equipment, also known as network elements such as, GGSN, PGW, PDSN, ZTE ZXR10 series core switches and core routers. MPLS routers, base stations, some of them developed with OBSAI, Open Base Station Architecture Initiative Architecture, including China's specific time division long-term evolution also known as TDLTE radio protocol support and CDMA-based EVDU equipment, telephone switches, legacy WAP and MMSC equipment, WiMAX products, based on ZTE SDR platform, part of the UniRAN solution. Unicore Core Network Equipment and services to support the launch of the WiMAX 4G network over 3.5 GHz frequencies. SDN slash NFV products as seen through Open Daylight Project, customers. A good number of ZTE's customers are outside of China. During the 2000s, the majority were developing country mobile network operators, but ZTE products see use in developed countries as well. The UK's Vodafone, Canadian Telus, Australia's Telstra, as well as France Telecom have all purchased equipment from ZTE. Many Chinese companies are also ZTE customers, including China Netcom, China Mobile, China Satcom, China Telecom, and China Unicom. In the United States, ZTE USA manufactures mobile phones and broadband devices for multiple wireless carriers, including AT&T. Boost Mobile, Cricket Wireless, Metro PCS, Sprint, T-Mobile, TrekFun, Verizon, and Virgin Mobile. It may also sell network equipment to these carriers. Controversies, Bribes for Contracts, Norway, Norwegian telecommunications giant Telenor, one of the world Euro unregistered trademark s largest mobile operators, Ban ZTE from participating in tenders and new business opportunities because of an alleged breach of its code of conduct in a procurement proceeding Euro during a five-month time span ending in March 2009. Philippines Contract negotiations to build a broadband network for the Philippine government may have included improper activities. The project was later cancelled. Surveillance system sale, in December 2010. ZTE sold systems for eavesdropping on phone and internet communications to the government-controlled telecommunication company of Iran. This system may help Iran monitor and track political dissidents. Handset security, at least one ZTE mobile phone can be remotely accessed by anyone with an easily obtained password. In 2012, Politicians in the United States of America raised other security concerns regarding ZTE and another Chinese wireless equipment manufacturer, Huawei. References External links ZTE Corporation Global Website, ZTE Devices Global, ZTE USA